my, 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 my. Right there at the boat. Now that's the way to start it off, right there at the boat. Let me let's throw that marker buoy on out here. Now that was quick, folks. Let's flip this fish in. I'll show you what we're doing. That's a good bass right there. Let's talk about it. Yeah. Look how he, see that? That's what fishing's about. I'm using a swim bait right here. This is a Kitek swim bait, four inches long, or I believe it's four inches long, with a one eighth ounce head, Kitek head. I'm using a loop knot, eight pound fluorocarbon leader, and that is, um, that's an eight pound braid right there. That's all I'm doing right now. Let's get back with it. I believe I've located some fish. A lot of shad here on the depth finder. The rod I'm using is one of my favorite rod for throwing little baits like this. It's a Shimano Cellus worm and jig rod, six foot eight, medium action. And I got a little Johnny Morris spinning reel right here. Six, two and one gear ratio. Now, that fish snuck up on me. Usually, I'll locate my fish and, <laughs> and then start catching them. But what I was doing was hunting fish. Let's get back in here. Now, we're in 10 feet of water right now. And that buoy marker is an 8. So, that marker's on the drop. It's a gradual drop right here off of a flat. That's all we're doing. And a swim bait, just like any throw and wine bait, bait, folks. I'm going to just keep it simple, in my opinion. It is an easy bait to throw. Now, that fish was around three or four feet off the bottom. And just a steady retrieve is all I'm doing. But I'm just retrieving it, I'm guessing, about two to three feet off the bottom and just bringing it back as slow as I can with that one eighth ounce jig head and still maintain about two to three feet off the bottom. Right off the bat, I noticed two things. No, three things. I noticed that there were shad here, very important. I noticed that we're fishing a gradual drop. That's two things. Well, here's another thing. The speed of the retrieve I remember that before I got bit. And the depth of water, which is important because these fish seem to be about in the same depth, eight to 10, 12 feet. There's a fish. Now that's a bass right there. Good fish too. Or for a small swim bait it is. Come on back in here, boy. That's a good one for a small... I tell you, them little Kitek baits will catch them, folks. That's a good fish right there. Let's net him. I've got some light tackle here. Uh, generally, I like to throw the bigger swim baits when I throw them. But the shad ain't very big in here. That's a good bass. There ain't nothing wrong with that good open water bass fish right there hey my 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 whoa whoa okay <clears throat> you know it's simple if i can think it and know it it's simple fishing is a sport it's second to none. Let's let him go. Today is one day after a front, and I failed to mention that, how effective swim baits are after a front. Oftentimes, let's let him go. Go on back in there, you pretty thing. The ones that I'm catching on, uh, catching these fish on, excuse me folks, right now, is a Kitek Easy Shiner, four inch. Um, 
what's the color right here yeah here's the color it's called copper field copper field like a field that you plow good bait right here i've caught them on these for a long time and another one right here is this one it's just a sharp true shad a lot of times i'll use this gaudy thing right here if the water's a little bit because of rainfall if it's a little bit murky or a little bit stained i'll use that but it might work now what i'm going to do is rig up one of these again in one of these and test them see it don't have a whole lot of action you don't want much action in the winter time or i don't i think i get more bites with a subtle action too much action it kind of i believe the fish thinks there ain't no way i'm gonna chase that down and eat it but i don't know that that's kind of the way i feel about it a tight wiggle is a lot better or it does or it seems to be because right now the water temps at 49 on the surface that's pretty cold there we go my my i got up under these birds right here folks i kept diving i said well let's see what's up under them birds Man, that fish is fighting. What do we got? That's what I thought. I want y'all to look right here. Golly, what a white bass. Now that is a big white bass. That's what's up under them birds, and they could be some bass too. Uh, <laughs> let's let him go. Ain't that a pretty fish? Come on back. Hey, don't you get too close to them old birds. The last time we done that, they pooped in my boat and I couldn't get it cleaned up. There we go. My goodness, these are monsters, folks. For white bass, these are big. For the Tennessee River, looky here. That's a monster. My goodness. I'll tell you what, now that's a lot of fun. I can't stress that. Let's make us another cast in here. They're scattered. They're not just like big piles of them out here, but they're just scattered in amongst these birds. But when I catch one, it's a big one. Man. And doggone it. Dark is coming upon me and I'm wanting to really fit. Look here. And I'm wanting to fish. <laughs> Ain't that the way it works? That's exactly how it works. When you start to really, really, really catch them, then, they, then the dark comes upon you. But I'm just proud the Lord let me catch what I did. He's letting me have a bunch of fun. Look at this fish. This must be a true monster right here. This fish ain't even let up. None. Oh, my goodness. Looky here. I want you to look. That's about as big a white bass as I catch here in the Tennessee River. That's about as big, good as it gets here. Go on back. Let's try that again. See. Well, they've eaten my tail off. I don't think it matters. We'll see. I'd like to catch one more before dark. Whoa! Look at the birds. I keep talking about the birds, but look at the birds. Them old birds is a poop all in ye boat. Hmm. There we go. Y'all hear that? Hmm? That's because he was nipping at it. And he wouldn't commit. That's another big one. 
Golly. Monsters, I'm talking about. Come on in here. Golly. I believe that's going to end my day. That's going to do it. And what a beautiful day it was. Let's let him go. Well, folks, once again, we've accomplished. That was a requested video about swim baits. And uh, I tell you what, I love to throw the big ones for big bass. But the weather conditions wasn't right. When that happens, we'll do one on the big swim baits. But I had a lot of fun. Very effective technique. Nothing to it. Throw it out there and reel it back. Figure out how deep the fish are, just like any other fish that you target, and catch them. Have a ball out here doing it. I want to say God bless each and every one of y'all. Keep your left foot going in front of the right one, or the right one going in front of the left one. It don't make any difference. Hey, thank y'all for everything y'all do, and they're hitting the top again. Woo! I'm telling you what. I'm telling y'all the truth about it. This ain't no lie. I'm not gonna lie to you. Hey, whoa. Dog on the bird. The bird. The dog gone bird. And to remember, go fishing when you can, but all this good bird.